Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Let's learn how to simplify ratios. All right, so what we have is we have a box of stickers. Actually, this is a box of stickers that belongs to Mia, okay? And what Mia had was she had a box full of red stickers and black stickers. And what she wanted to find out was the relation between the number of red stickers and the number of black stickers that she had. So what she did was she took out from the box the stickers one by one and she placed them in a row. And what she got was she got a row of red stickers. Okay, so here is a row of red stickers from the box. And when she counted the red stickers, she saw that she had 10 red stickers. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply make really quickly 10 red stickers here. So she has got 10 red stickers here, which she placed in a row. Okay. Then she took out the black stickers and she saw that she had 20 black stickers. Okay. So she put those stickers as well in a line, in a row, and she counted and there were 20 black stickers. Okay. So I'm going to quickly make 20 black stickers here. So you see what the relation between the red stickers and the black stickers is. Okay. So here's three. Five and ten and twenty. Okay, so she arranged them in a row. Okay, a row of red stickers and a row of black stickers. And what she saw was she had ten red stickers and she had twenty black stickers. So she figured out that the relation between the number of red stickers and the black stickers was 10 to 20, right? Because there were 10 red stickers and 20 black stickers. So the ratio of the number of red stickers to the number of black stickers is 10 to 20. But then she said, okay, this is one way of arranging the stickers. How about I arrange the stickers in two rows instead of one row? So she said, okay, let me take all these stickers and put them in two rows instead of one row. So she took these stickers and she put them in two rows. Okay. And with the red stickers, she made two rows, each having five stickers. And with the black stickers, she made two rows, each containing 10 stickers, right? So she had 10 stickers here and 10 stickers here in the second row. But now the ratio had changed. What she saw was that previously for the 10 red stickers that she had, she had 20 black stickers. But she saw that now for every 5 red stickers, she had 10 black stickers. So the ratio was 5 to 10, which told her that for every 5 red stickers, she had 10 black stickers. She said, all right, now how about I arrange them in yet another way? And instead of making 2 rows, how about I put them in 5 rows? So she went ahead and she did that. She made five rows, each containing two red stickers. Okay, so she had five rows of two red stickers. And then she took the black stickers and she made rows of black stickers as well. And she made five rows of black stickers. So then to put 20 stickers in five rows, she figured out she would need to put four stickers per row. Okay, and then what she observed was she had two red stickers for every four black stickers because in this new arrangement in every row there were two red stickers and four black stickers so she figured out that what I have in the whole box is for every two red stickers I have four black stickers so now the new ratio of red stickers to black stickers that she had was two to four all right then she said well there's another way in which I can arrange them she said how about I put each of these red stickers in a row by itself. So she put each red sticker in a single row. And then what she saw was she had 10 rows, each containing one red sticker. Okay, so she had four here, six, eight, and 10. So she had 10 rows, each containing one red sticker. Then she said, okay, how about the black stickers? If I have to arrange these 20 black stickers in 10 rows, then there'll be two stickers that will go in one row. So she put two black stickers per row and what she got was she got 10 rows each containing two black stickers. All right, so I'm just going to quickly make this here. 
I'm just going to quickly put all these here. And then she observed that what she had was for every red sticker that she had, she had two black stickers. So the new ratio that she had now was for every one red sticker, she had two black stickers. So she figured out that in the whole box of stickers that she had, for every red sticker, she had two black stickers. So the relation between the number of red stickers to the black stickers she figured out was actually one to two. So all along what Mia really had was for every one red sticker she had two black stickers. Now if you compare these ratios 10 to 20, 5 to 10, 2 to 4, anyone 1 to 2, you'll notice that the second term in each of these ratios is twice as much as the first term. 20 is the double of 10, 10 over here is the double of 5, 4 over here is twice as much as 2, and 2 over here is twice as much as this one over here. So she noticed that all along what she really had was twice as many black stickers as red stickers. So if she had a whole lot of red stickers and black stickers and she wanted to put them on a model diagram, then she said that if I had a whole lot of red stickers and black stickers, and if the red stickers was one unit, Okay, so if the red stickers was one unit, then the black stickers would be two units. So if the whole box of stickers, if the whole lot of stickers could be represented as a model, then she figured out that if she marked the red stickers as one unit, then the black stickers would be two units. So all along, what she really had was for every red sticker, she had two black stickers. So then why call the relation as 10 to 20 when it actually really is only 1 to 2? So you see there, why complicate things and call it 10 to 20 when it really actually only is 1 to 2? So wherever possible, try to simplify your ratios so they are easy to understand and easy to work with. Okay, now you'll ask, then what is the quickest way of simplifying ratios? Well, let's see. Let me clear all this. So Mia had red stickers to black stickers in the ratio 10 to 20, okay? And then we know that she arranged them in three different ways, okay? So what she did was she took the 10 red stickers and the 20 black stickers. And what she did at first was she arranged them into two rows, okay? And when she did that, what she figured out was she had five red stickers for every 10 black stickers. Then when she arranged them into five rows, what she figured out was for every two red stickers that she had, she had four black stickers. Then finally, she figured out there was one more arrangement of the red stickers and the black stickers. So what she did was she put each of the 10 red stickers in a row by itself. And when she did that, she saw that when she put the 10 red stickers in 10 rows and she put the 20 black stickers in 10 rows, she had one red sticker for every two black stickers. So she said, actually, all along, what I've had is for every red sticker in my box, I have had two black stickers. So all along, for every red sticker, there have been two black stickers. So indeed, the ratio or the relation between the number of red stickers and the number of black stickers is 1 to 2. So although this ratio 10 to 20 tells me that I have 10 red stickers and I have 20 black stickers, it's this ratio which gives me the exact or the precise relation between the number of red stickers and the number of black stickers. So this is the simplest form of this ratio. Okay, but you will ask, well, how do I know this is the simplest form of the ratio and how do I reach this? Why isn't this ratio correct or why isn't this ratio correct? Well, actually, all of these ratios are correct. This is also a correct way of expressing the number of uh, red stickers to black stickers. And so is this, and so is this, and so is this. They're all correct, except that this is the most simplified form of expressing the relation. And how do you go about simplifying the ratio? Well, the way to do that is to start with the number of red stickers and the number of black stickers, okay? And then what you do is you find out a common factor of these two terms, okay? These two terms, 10 and 20, the terms of the ratio. Now, in our case, one of the common factors is 2. So what you would do is divide each of these terms by 2, and you'll get the ratio 5 to 
10. Now, 5 to 10, how do you know if this is a simplified form of this ratio or not? Well, if you can divide this ratio 5 to 10 further, okay, by a common factor, then it's not simplified yet. So, you would do that. In our case, there is another common factor that can divide this ratio 5 to 10, and it's 5, and that will give you 1 to 2. So, you see that since this ratio can be divided further by a common factor to give you yet another ratio, which is 1 to 2, this intermediate ratio ratio is certainly not the simplified one okay but over here since one of the terms of the ratios is one you can be sure that this is guaranteed the simplest form of the ratio and why so because this cannot be divided any further since uh, there is no common factor that will divide these two terms of the ratio okay but many a times there are cases when one of the terms of the ratio is not one and yet the ratio is simplified well the way to check whether the ratio is simplified or not is simply to see if there is a common factor that will divide both the terms of the ratio if there is none then you reach the simplified form of the ratio if there is one then you keep simplifying it okay so keep Keep simplifying the ratio until you cannot simplify it any further. And when you cannot simplify it any further, you reach the simplest form of the ratio. Well, I think that's it. Uh, that's all it's going to be for now. I think I've done enough talking for one lesson. So now I'll end this lesson here with the hope that you'll go and check out some of the problems here at www.homecampus.com.sg. Do go and practice because practice makes you perfect. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.